Welcome back. I'm Evan Johnson with your Tiger Sports Update. LSU women's basketball made headlines today when former Louisville guard Haley Van Lith announced her transfer to LSU. Van Lith played three seasons with the Cardinals and will join the Purple and Gold as a senior. She averaged 19.7 points per game last season and was the number one ranked player in the transfer portal. Along with Haley Van Lith, LSU will host Anisha Morrow for a visit beginning tonight. Morrow is the second ranked player in the transfer portal. LSU baseball looks to rebound against Alabama this weekend after facing a tough loss against Nickel State this Tuesday. The Tigers have won every SEC series this season except for a split two-game series against South Carolina. Despite their success, the team faces a lot of tough injuries that have set them back. Nonetheless, head coach Jay Johnson expects the team to keep moving forward. The has been really consistent. Um, you know, got two All-Americans that are in the training room. But we've overcome that, you know, every game this year until this point. And we needed to do that tonight. We, we should have won the game tonight. Um, but they played better. And the team that plays better usually wins. And uh, that's tonight. Any more questions? Thank you. Before LSU fans turn their attention to baseball, they'll have their eyes on Kansas City, where the NFL draft kicks off tonight. Several Tigers are expected to hear their names called over the next three days with B.J. Ojolari projected as a round one or two talent. The former LSU defender says he is ready to find his new home. Yeah, uh, it's treated me very well, actually. Um, interviewing with a lot of teams, getting to know their schemes, getting to meet legendary head coaches. So it's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity and um, I'm definitely not taking it for granted. Any common feedback? Stay tuned and to our website and socials for more coverage throughout the draft. I'm Evan Johnson, and that was your Tiger Sports Update. After the break, we'll tell you about two LSU students turning their favorite holiday into a business. Don't go anywhere.